Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of 17 properties today, and uh, I am blissfully unaware of what happened over the last week. Uh, we were on vacation, decided just to black out the emails for a week just to give you a break. We send uh, emails five days a week pretty much nonstop. So end of summer, good time to uh, take a rest and uh, refreshed, recharged, and ready to talk about 17 listings. So let's get started. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Now just order the properties uh, in price. So if you look up here, just click this button right here. And uh, the first one up is 661 Childs number 34. I have seen properties not nearly as nice as this one uh, sell for 330, 335, and they have gone through this one and put a lot of work into it. So uh, I like it. I think it's priced really well. Uh, I think it's one of the best options to get a three bedroom home. And the other thing is the condo fees at 289 are some of the lowest in town. And if you can save 50 bucks a month on condo fees, that's almost like really saving about ten thousand dollars on a on a purchase price so you're actually kind of building in a bit of a monthly cost discount buying this one compared to something that has fees of 330 340 350 a month now even though my mind is a little slower and i'm getting used to work again i can tell you that this is an outstanding deal on hamilton crescent uh, before we left we sold a inside unit townhouse it was nice smaller than this one here townhouse 1380 square feet this property in Hamilton is a 1500 square foot semi we sold that one at 480 so now we've got something with two car parking in the driveway which does not change the value a, a, a whole lot I mean maybe a couple thousand dollars tops people think it does it doesn't it makes it easier to sell but it's not a value booster and the other thing is that it's a 106 Foot deep property which is about 25 feet deeper than most of the guys right here and most of the, really the entire Mattamy inventory so you're getting a much deeper backyard uh, laminate floor, floors in the main level and I guess the bottom line with this one is if you scoop this for any less than 480 you are doing really well and uh, there's a shot of the backyard right there nice property mature trees Absolutely lovely, great price. I would argue maybe even a, a, a hair underpriced. Okay, next up is we have 158 Laurier, 629. And so here it is right here. It's on the corner of Laurier and Farmstead, both of which are kind of busier streets. You have the hospital not far. Uh, you also have Bronte Meadows Park, which has undergone a really nice renovation. Uh, the Tonelli Sports Center, you've got uh, tennis courts. Just a really nice open space here. Uh, you've also got some uh, some good places just to go for a stroll at night too. So great neighborhood right in Bronte Meadows. Uh, the house looks like it's had a lot of work done. And there's a couple things about this home that I thought was were worth mentioning for sure. The renovated kitchen, obviously. This home has cluttered stuff and the thing is is that they take the stuff with them uh, I mean I look at something like this it's unreasonable to expect somebody to, to move all this out before listing now I don't know if what the intention was of showing this because it doesn't really show anything that the buyer gets afterwards but it does show something that I think is very important if you see somebody who organizes their home like this, or if you look at the garage and you've got ladders and everything all organized, what I get from that is that I can pretty much, with a high level of certainty, guess that these sellers have taken care of that pool. They've taken care of the house, the roof, the windows, and all the different things that have needed to happen over the years. They've probably done it in an organized professional workmanlike manner and that matters on a home like this that's basically getting close to 40 years old um, 629 I think is a good price for this one there's a lot that this one has to offer including the in-ground pool the double garage the four bedrooms 
that's a very popular combination in this neighborhood and I think that if um, if they were on a quieter street they could easily be up at the 650 to 675 range so I think they've built in enough of a discount for being maybe not in the ideal uh, kind of traffic laneway um, anyway I like this one a lot I think it's that's the only downside I can see on this one is just having cars that, that whiz by. Now, I've said this before, in the country, you almost have to be drastically underlisted to get a quick offer. And um, something like this on 10th Side Road, 689, you've got 20 acres. You've got a house that actually doesn't look too bad. Steel roof, too, so that might last you quite a long time. And inside, you've got a renovated kitchen. It's mostly land value for this home. But it's nice to know that if you did move in, that you had some upgrading uh, in the house already. And so you've got, you've got uh, box stalls, you've got uh, two paddocks, you've got a sand ring here. So there's lots of opportunity for income. You're like 35,000 an acre, 30 to 35,000 an acre, uh, plus that um, income opportunities. I think this one's a really good deal. It's actually not that far from town. I think that any agent who puts in location, location, location in the description and then just continues on, at, I, I, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, that's probably the most overused phrase, although there's truth to it. it. I don't think it has any bearing in a listing. Talk about why the location is so good. Uh, but anyway, for 689, I don't know if there's a better deal in the country right now, especially if you're looking for land. Now I just refreshed the link and it looks like Combs already has an offer, offer on it. Not surprised, 28, 24 square feet. It has a loft above the garage here. Great use for home office, nanny suite, even a kid's playroom. Um, you don't get as much of a backyard, but when the garage shifts over, now you have this opportunity for a really nice wide open square layout instead of the traditional L-shaped layout where you're kind of building around the garage. Uh, really nice looking home and not surprised it went pretty quick. There's even these little picture windows here with stained glass, uh, pot lights right along the edge here. And how you get to the loft is you go through this door here and then you go up some stairs. You actually can't access the loft um, above the garage from the second level of the house. Usually, I've never seen it. Maybe there's a way they can build it out. Um, either way, I think this one shows uh, extremely well and it's across from some nice green space. That's your backyard. So if you're not as much into spending time in your yard, uh, you're okay in something like this. They do tend to float at about the same price point as a 28, 24 square foot, quote unquote, regular home uh, with the L shape around the garage and the backyard. Uh, this one looks very, very good for the price and I'm sure they did very well. Last up is Bell School Line. They were at 2.49, now they're at 2.29. And uh, so where we are is um, just north of Derry on Bell School Line, south of Spring Ridge Farm. And uh, lovely home. You get some nice views of the escarpment, but it's not the same as the other side when you start climbing up the mountain where you get those, those pan panoramic kind of over the city. This is more the ridge line that you see from the backyard. Um, Nice looking home. My favorite part of this one is the indoor pool because that's just how I roll. I love indoor pools and maybe it's just my love for water and especially coming off vacation, I could certainly say that this would be a place that I would love to hang out for, uh, for a week or longer. So you've got a uh, fireplace here with a pool table. Really what you're selling in, in the country is, I mean, unless it's a a farm and an income base, you're really selling a certain kind of lifestyle. So any shots like that that really remind you of, hey, I can chill out in my basement, I can check out the views, I could, uh, you know, like privacy, all those things are, are good to show. And so even the, the listing before this one uh, used a, uh, aerial photography drones. And I think that uh, showing the amount of space and the separation and the views, that's a very good thing. And I think that in this home, there is an opportunity to show at 8.45 acres how big this property actually is and also some of the things you can see from this land. Very, very close to town. Even this land alone is pro at 8.45 acres is probably worth 
uh, between one and two million on its own. And then obviously the house is, uh, is a huge house with, uh, with some outstanding features. So there we go. We're back. Uh, hope you enjoyed the list and um, we're back to regular schedule. And if you need any real estate help, we are definitely here for you. 905-693-9346 or just reply to any email. And thanks for watching Milton Daily Homes.